Friends, in this video for M2W, I'm going to talk to you on the topic, how your M2W portfolio will be built. Every investor wants to be a savvy and a smart investor. You want your investments to be in the best of companies. So you think that it's better that you invest in the companies. But there is a strong reason for a small investor to invest through mutual funds. Here is the reason. Assume you have a small sum of money, let's say 5 lakhs, and you're buying shares. You make some profits, you sell them. So let's say 5 lakhs becomes 6 lakhs. On the 1 lakh, you have to pay capital gains. On the contrary, assume that you buy mutual funds chosen very well, diligently and in line with practices of investment excellence. You put your 5 lakhs in that mutual fund scheme. That mutual fund scheme invests in similar stocks that you would have bought. Those stocks appreciate. Assume they go to 6 lakhs. The mutual fund may sell some of those stocks, but the mutual fund need not pay taxes and you can happily continue to own the mutual fund while some profits have been booked inside the mutual fund scheme. For a small investor, this is a compelling reason to invest in mutual funds. It's a hassle-free, tax-free experience where you can compound your money better. There is this great argument about whether active is better than passive. Here again, I don't have any prejudice against either. But my thinking is use both effectively when the investment case is very strong in either of them. For example, if I want to buy into the US market, into tech sometime in the next three months, I would happily buy a passive NASDAQ ETF. But on the contrary, if I want to buy a large cap oriented portfolio now, I would definitely buy a well-managed active fund. The reason is there are a number of large caps in the indices that I don't want to own. I may not like the managements, I may not like the valuation. I may not like the way the stock price has moved in recent times. So to me, safety of my investment is very important. A structured thought process is very important. Diligent stock choices is very important. And an active manager is well placed to give me that. In fact, I would add another layer where I'll put money regularly in an SIP. And I will advise you to do that too. So you as part of your M2W portfolio will start an SIP. The SIP will be in line with your current income and you are also able to save some more money every month. Now that money will be kept aside by you and when markets fall then we will alert you and you can make a lump sum into the same funds where you have bought. So what would happen is you keep adding more units at attractive valuations, you buy when markets are cheaper and you build a very strong robust portfolio of well-managed companies. Importantly, if the fund manager is trading in them, you don't have to pay taxes. You just continue to own the units. Now this is a definite reason for a small investor to stick to mutual funds, to do an SIP and to do lump sums into them. Now. There is another aspect which is very important in your M2W journey. After all, you want to reach your milestones earlier than others and earlier than you otherwise did. To do that, what is absolutely essential? First, at all times, your savings potential and your investment potential must be aligned. Assume your salary is 10,000 and you are investing 2,500. Later, when your salary increases to 25,000, you may be able to save 10,000. And 
when your salary goes to 50000 you could be in a position to invest 25000 because your cost of living has not expanded the same way most investors fail to align their saving in line with their increasing income and their investment is aligned even lower it's important that your salary your savings and your income are aligned to a certain thought process so that your potential to achieve higher income reflects in your investment journey as well when you do very well in your life you should do very well in your investments also and mutual funds actually help you do that and if you're well advised if your hand holding is right if you are alerted when it's the right time to invest a little more i'm sure that you will achieve far more than your friends would otherwise achieve dabbling in stocks now i want to say something about this dabbling bit most people end up over trading selling their winners holding on to their losers and getting too excited i had this friend of mine who said that hey i got into the market two years ago but now i'm not able to focus on my work every half an hour i'm checking my portfolio because i've not done this before and it started going down and my anxiety level is so high that i'm not able to focus on my work now that would be a pity because he was an extremely talented guy in his profession and now he is spending more time worrying about his investments if he left his investments to an extremely talented guy then he would not need to bother about whether he's doing the right thing because the guy who is a fund manager or a professional or an advisor takes care of his interest and that is a very strong reason for all of you who are achievers in your own right who are earning more than what you did before who are able to increase your income significantly and who now have the potential to save more to invest well to invest smartly to invest in the right places and to create a strong and safe investment journey m2w is that journey and we want you to enjoy the journey enjoy the fruits of the journey and reach your destination before others we would definitely be committed to helping you every step of the way and alerting you to every investment opportunity thank you for being a part of the m2w journey